A judge in an employment tribunal in Peterborough has said that claiming not to be a feminist could be an act of discrimination. I quote the judge who said, it would appear that a feminist is simply about all genders having equal rights and opportunities as men. The judge confessed the tribunal was perplexed by the defendant's non-feminist views and suggested such opinions would be in breach of equality laws. I was perplexed as the judge by his statement that feminism relates to all genders, implying more than two. I thought feminism was about women, not the transgender ideology. But discrimination must require action rather than a lack of belief. As long as others are treated equally under the law, is there one definition of feminism that must be believed? This seems an extraordinary intrusion into personal belief, as opposed to viewing discrimination as an active decision. Well, with me now is my panel, associate commentator at The Telegraph, Mutaz Ahmed, and the historian and broadcaster, Tessa Dunlop. Tessa, is it compulsory, basically, to agree with you? Now, you may think it should be, but is that a sensible way for the law to go? Isn't that why you have me here? It's your <laughs> token feminist. <laughs> so that you aren't entirely shut down by a tribunal, the establishment that is GB News. Um, no, I looked up the definition of feminism for you, Jacob, because I thought you might need some help in this area. It is the advocacy of women's rights, people like me, on the basis of the equality of the sexes. So that is baked into law, last updated, well, well, as we discovered. Well, hold in on. Baked into law, the equality, and yes. I'm all in favour of yes. that, but advocacy... To say that it is compulsory to advocate something is very different from saying that something is the law of the land. It's good to see you, your, your usual pedantry self. Yeah, that's what you'd expect. Um, that's what my viewers all, and listeners expect. <laughs> indeed. It's important to say that this manager, he was an environmental agency manager, therefore he had a level of agency within his agency. Um, they were contesting his maintenance of a non-feminist view. They suggested that was discriminatory, i.e. as a manager, by maintaining non-feminist views that impacts on your ability to uh, treat uh, your employees and your co-workers but, uh, equally. does it? If he treated everybody equally, the fact that he didn't believe in feminism was surely his choice. But he was maintaining his non-feminist stance, which is counter to equality. It runs counter Not to equality. Not if he didn't do anything about it, Mutaz. Feminism is not about equality anymore. It's about crushing the patriarchy. It's about what? women gaining the upper hand over men. That's not equal. You oh, are you another you can, beleaguered male? Can, I'm not a feminist. You can believe in equality, right? But you don't have to be a feminist to believe it. And if this man is saying he's not a feminist, he might well be saying, I don't believe in crushing the patriarchy. I don't believe in creating an environment that's negative for men. I understand that you're actually half my age and you perhaps haven't been around quite long enough to understand what feminism literally means in its legal mm. defined context. What's happened since you grew up is that the culture wars have taken words like feminism and they've injected them with all kinds of potency, which actually are deeply unhelpful to the cause of equality and the right. cause well, of women. If I don't identify with that word then, which has been injected with all, with all of this politics, am I being discriminatory? If I say in the workplace that I don't believe in DEI, am I saying that I don't believe in racial equality? Of course I'm not. I'm, not, I'm saying that I don't believe in the politics of DEI. I'm, I don't believe in the politics of feminism. How is that discriminatory? Well, I think what we need to do is divorce the definition of feminism from the way in which you clearly see some individuals as using it as a tool to whip the likes of you with and your rights with. I will go back to read the um, dictionary, Oxford Dictionary definition of feminism, the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. Very interestingly, when I looked it up in the Oxford Dictionary, yes. um, it says you should pronounce it feminism, which seems to have gone out of fashion. Yeah. And I think that's Mutaz's... Well, that was before even I was born. But I think Jacob. that's Mutaz's point, that... Words evolve, yeah. and actually, what you're saying about a dictionary definition is all perfectly fair and true. But Mutas' point is absolutely spot on. It has become a political advocacy of something. I'm all in favour, strongly in favour, of equality before the law. I think it is the most fundamental mm. principle uh, of British law. But that doesn't mean that I believe that there is equality of all genders. I don't actually think there are more than two genders anyway. And this judge is on about there being a whole slew of genders. That's very odd, isn't it? I'm... This judge is... I didn't, I didn't catch yeah, yeah. that, he, he? he said um, uh, that his definition of feminism, or as we're all now going to pronounce it, uh, feminism, yeah. um, is that it relates to all genders. Now, once you say all genders, all implies more than two. 
Okay. It's only both genders, isn't it? We would say... I mean, I'm, I'm delighted we're having a discussion about the correct use of English. Uh, but it's both genders. Now, actually, you're a feminist. Mm. How many genders do you believe in? <clears throat> well, in the eyes of the law, the protected characteristics of different individuals equates to more than just two sexes. It includes more than two genders. So I, I would say so I'm separating feminists... sex from gender, and I would say that while I recognise two sexes, there may be more are, people are, identify so with more than two genders. Are feminists protected or endangered by a man in a frock going into ladies loose? I've silenced Tessa, that's the first no, time that's ever happened. It, I, Moot, Moot has. I'm what, what, what are the other genders? What are they? Well, I'm not somebody who identifies out with my gender, which is female, but I know that there are those with protected, protected characteristics, um, you know, transsexuals, who have a different idea of their own gendered identity, and who am I to quibble with that? I really think what, what concerns me greatly is that the likes of Jacob Rees-Mogg, who's more likely to be found in the sort of golf house or the gentleman's drinking club than he ever is campaigning for equality and, and women's rights and worrying about our safety, suddenly gets very hot under the collar if a man wears a woman's frock and says he's a woman and then goes into a female space. That's, I mean, do, in any other context do you ever get worried about female no, safety? No, no, this is something that women are concerned about. Some and I think, women, and a, I think, a few women. And I think a few women. The only reason we're hearing so much about this is because men like you have jumped on their bandwagon. No, no, we're hearing so much about it because of feminists, yes. ironically. It's people like J.K. Rowling. Yeah, I, I agree, and it's a, it's a rabbit hole that I, I wish feminism, which has got far greater right. causes to fight, like equality, justice, economic justice T for women. Tessa, having been momentarily silenced, is now making up for it. But thank you to my panel.